Hi, let's simulate the initial access call flow through the drive test tool. So I've connected a device, which is a Samsung handset here with this drive test software. And currently my phone is in flight mode and I'm going to disable the flight mode and to see that what is actually going to happen, what are the different messages we are going to see at layer three. So I'm going to disable the flight mode and we can see certain messages are popping up here and initially the message is about the system information block one and we understand there are MIP and SIP messages which are coming in the downlink and these SIP messages are carrying the different information related to the network such as the PLMN identity such as the, the country code or the network code for this particular network with which the user is attached and there are certain other information which we have covered in the previous section. Now, along with that, what we are focusing currently on how the initial access call flow looks like. So as soon as the user connect to the network, the messages which are being shared between the user and the network, what we can see here after the SIP messages, we have certain in the in the uplink, we have the RRC setup request that is happening here in this case. So if in this case, what we have seen actually, the in the uplink, we have the RRC messages which are happening and simultaneously there is a NAS message also, which is an attached request going towards the MME in this case. Now, simultaneously these three messages, if we compare it here, so we have first uh, between the user and the radio access network, we have the RRC setup request and RRC setup a response going from the base station. And then we have the RRC setup complete along with the NAS message in that case. So here, if you see, there is that NAS message which contains all the information. Now, what all information are there captured in this particular attached request? It gives the information about what kind of attached request it is. So here it is EMM message, which is going from the user towards a core network and then we have what kind of identity being there of the user that is there to address which particular user is coming to the network that is being identified through GUTI which is global unique temporary identity so here if you see we have the information which is being passed on between the user and the network which contains the GUTI which is the information about the user equipment and then also we have some old information about previously with which network it was connected to. And we have also the old temporary identity for this particular user when it was connected to the network. 